what up guys crispy duck here i'm back with another video and this time around we're gonna be talking about rust fps boost so first off we're gonna have two parts graphics settings and console commands so i have everything set to high except graphics quality i want to talk about graphics quality a little bit because if you have a higher end pc you can set it to medium high very high ultra whatever you want i'm i'm sticking with low because if i set it to medium when I go inside my inventory and go out, it starts to lag it. Like you can see at the FPS, it drops even at low. So if I set it to medium, it's like, it's really buggy and lagging. Like it looks, it's just awful. It sometimes lags for like, even like 30 seconds after I op open or close my inventory. So that's the first setting why I set it to low. Next, shadow quality, zero. Max shadow light, zero. Water, zero. Water reflections zero. Shader level. I'ma set it to 300 because if I have the graphics quality at low, I like to see like the grass and all that stuff. You see how it's like detailed. It's like, pretty, pretty cool looking. So I'm gonna leave it at 300. Drop distance. To be honest, you don't really need more than 1,000. So I'm gonna set it to 999. Shadow distance 50. And traffic filtering one. Parallax mapping zero. Global rendering. Now this is a this is a good question that I got. And it is like should you set it to like higher or lower? I prefer to set it just the lowest. Yes, you can see less buildings in the distance. But if I'm gonna be planning on flying with a mini, I'm gonna set it to higher so I can see far further away and see all the bases and stuff. But for now I'm gonna leave it at zero. Eight, I mean five hundred, my bad. Particle, particle quality is zero object quality if you have low mode i suggest you go with at least 100 because then like all the building skins and all that doesn't look that bad tree quality 200 max tree meshes 100 terrain quality zero grass zero decor zero image effects i prefer smaa you can try dsaa it's also not that bad. I used to play with this. It's not that bad. It's a little bit more blurry. You can see less players in these things than with SMAA. It's a bit more sharper. So I'm going to leave it at SMAA. Depth field off. Ambient off. High quality off. Off. Sunshine's off. Sh off. Sharpen. This is personal preference. I prefer to play with off. I like that little blurry look. Not a fan of the big sharpness in the game, so I'm gonna run with these settings. Experimental, GC buffer, play around with this. It's a really a gamble. Are you gonna be getting better FPS with 1000 or 2000? Depends on your PC. I have the best with 2000, so I'm gonna stick, stick with that. Alright, now we're gonna get into console commands. I have a notepad made with all the things you have to put in. So I'm going to copy them. I'm going to also leave them in the description. You go in and press Ctrl V and paste them in. This should really help out with the FPS. And my game is starting to bug because my PC is not the best. But whatever. Don't mind that. Alright, so next up, press the button again and type CPU. After you type CPU, press CPU Affinity. And if you have four cores, or if you have eight, or whatever whatever number of cores you have, play around that number. I have four, so I'm going to be starting with three, then four, then five, and see which one gives me the best FPS. As you can see, right now I have 83 FPS. I'm going to put in five, and it's sticking pretty much the same, but if I put it at three, I think it should be disastrous. Yeah. Instantly drops to 40. It's not even playable anymore. My game's even about to crash. So play around with these settings. They should really be a game changer. When I first found out about them, I was mind blown. Yeah, it, it lagged for me now because I set it to 3. Yeah, I don't know why but my computer does that. Whenever I set my Rust to be at 3 cores, it just lags and it's awful. But that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Play around 
also play around with around the cpu affinity it's a such a game changer it really changed my game so much i used to be running the game at like 60 fps when i set it to five cores and the cpu affinity console command like my game upped by at least 20 fps it was such a game changer so far my favorite command but that that's it guys thank you for watching really hope this helped you out because i was suffering with the low fps scenarios and if you have any questions drop them down in the questions i mean comments drop them in the comments guys thank you for watching see you next time peace